Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another super fast Ninja Android app review, this time of Skyfire, which is a browser for Android, and uh, my browser of choice, uh, just because of all the features that it offers. So let's hop on my phone and uh, I'm going to run through all the features, or as many as I can, as quickly as I can for you. Okay, so here you have the uh, Skyfire default homepage. If you don't change it, then this is what you're going to see. It's just a list of various sites you can go to straight from the homepage. You have a back button, standard back button on your browser. You have the home button, which will take you to whatever you have set as your home, which I have to set default. If you click bookmarks, then it will take you to your bookmarks or allow you to bookmark the page you're currently on by clicking add bookmarks. You can also click the history tab, and you have a list of your history. And that's, of course, you clear it, which you can also do. But otherwise, it keeps a pretty detailed history, as you can see. Click the back button, you'll go back to wherever you were before. If you click the window button, then it'll show you all your active windows, and you can clear them out if you want to. And if you want to open a page without losing the page you're on, you can click Add a New Tab, and it will do that for you. This is one of my favorite buttons. It allows you to decide if you want a page to open as a desktop or an Android. Right now, we have Desktop chosen. So with that chosen, let's go to uh, Yahoo and let you see real quick how that shows up. If you click the Yahoo button, you're in Desktop mode. It's going to show up the same exact way it would if you were on your computer at home, your standard Yahoo page. As you can see, all this stuff you would normally see on a Yahoo page. And you can pinch, or pinch as we would say in the south, to zoom in or out. But if you don't like that, you say, this is too much, I want to see the mobile version, then you click the little Android desktop button and click Android, and you can uh, shift right on over to the Android version. Now it's going to reload the Yahoo page, only it's going to unload the mobile version. Anytime you're on Ant, you have the Android uh, highlighted, then it will... Android stands for a mobile version of the page, so it now loads the mobile version of the web page. If, of course, the web page has a mobile version, not every website does, but most of the big ones do these days. So that's cool. Uh, if you click the little arrow button right here, you can go forward. So if you click the back button to go back a page, you can click forward to go forward. Um, I think they have that hidden under this menu because it's not something you would often need to use. You can also find on page. You can search for words on the web, web page that you're on. You can select text. You can add a shortcut to your home screen to get directly back to this page. You can share the page through any share uh, uh, medias that you have on your phone. And you can go uh, into downloads, which will show you anything you've downloaded while you were using the browser. Just a PDF, an APK, any file you've downloaded. Spread the word is just share with people about this app. Um, you can report a video problem if you have a problem with the video. You can also go into settings, save search, enable video alerts, browser settings, a lot of different browser settings, plugins, initial zoom, how you want pages to load, also a lot of toolbar settings. That just allows you to uh, change how the toolbar looks. We're going to look at the toolbar in just a second. And privacy and security, uh, cache, uh, clear, uh, farm data, passwords, log out of Facebook, clear your history, accept cookies, clear cookies, anything you would need. It's all right there. Now, if I click the menu button. You see this little button down at the bottom shows up? That was not what I meant to do. Uh, now, these are the options. If you click Facebook, it immediately opens up Facebook for you. Your Facebook page, once you've logged in, you can do the same thing with Twitter. Uh, popular for popular. If you click the like button, you'll immediately like this page on your Facebook. Uh, Fireplace is kind of cool. That opens up your Facebook, but only uh, links. Any links that uh, anyone has put on their Facebook feed, such as uh, links to outside web pages or to pictures or videos, those type of things. Also, Groupon. Click the little Groupon button, and it'll open up uh, Groupon for you. And uh, if you go to the top, or there you go, I was already on there. You just click the back button, it goes to the main group on, and then you can, from there, you can go into travel or into your profile and stuff. Also, ideas, Verizon, share, this is a share button to share the page you're on. Uh, and then you click over, you can go to news, sports, which brings up ESPN, finance, brings up C, I think CNBC, uh, reader, which is a Google RSS reader, and then options, which just allows you to change the order of all these things. One of the coolest things about um, uh, Skyfire is the way you can handle video. Let's see if I can go to Vimeo real quick, and I'll show you. Down here, this little video button with a question mark, if you hit that, it analyzes to see if there's a video on there that it can play. If there is a video it can play, then it'll, it'll tell you, and you can click that button. It'll take you into the separate, uh, little, opens a separate window to just play the video. And what happens is Skyfire uh, analyzes the video on their servers, translates it on their servers, and then just sends the perfect optimized video for your handset to your handset. And this just saves you a lot of uh, bandwidth and data, which as we know, it's getting more and more important since, uh, as you see, you have full video controls right there. And as I was about to say, as you know, bandwidth is getting more important since everyone's getting rid of uh, the unlimited data. So anyway, that is your quick review of Skyfire Browser. So that was the app Skyfire. Uh, hopefully you can see from that quick review uh, just how awesome it is. But if you need more convincing, then uh, click the link below to see the full in-depth review where I take my time to show you how all the features work. 
Until next time, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.